so I'd, I'd like to just cover briefly some, some maintenance tips for the vapor degreaser. One of those is, is frequently checking your water in your water separator, making sure that's drained off. And the reason for that is that most of the cleaning solutions now, the cleaning solvents are halogenated and in the presence of water, they can go off, they can go acidic on you. It's not necessarily gonna hurt the part. It could, but not necessarily. What you're generally concerned about is harm to the inside of the unit. When you do your preventive maintenance, which can consist of, you know, once the system is cool and shut down, you can, you can drain your water separator, make sure all the water's out of it. You can trend that when you first get your unit to see how often that needs to be. It could be once a week, once a day, once a shift, depending on the throughput and the capacity of your, of your unit. You just need to be able to tell when it's about time. So that's gonna to have to be trended with a new unit and or a new chemistry. So work with your equipment and your chemistry manufacturers and they can certainly guide you along on that. When you're doing inspections during your PM, check for hot spots, little rust spots, because that's indicative of something's attacking those sumps or any of the plumbing inside. There's a lot of different things that you can check depending on how your unit is equipped. There's filtration, there's pumps, there's plumbing lines all on the inside that you can't see from here. Uh, there's also some units are designed with uh, separate desiccant units. Those need to be uh, checked uh, periodically and replaced. So th there's just a lot of maintenance issues that need to be attended to just as part of good practices. When to know when the sump is, is loaded, when the boil sump is loaded, because all of the, all of the cleaning is done over the boil sump. So all the contaminants are contained there. You don't want to contaminate your clean sump. So everything that you do when you're removing the soils will be done over the boil sump. And the way to tell when that does, and you can get with your number one, your equipment manufacturer, but more importantly, your chemistry manufacturer. And generally it's a, it's a rise in temperature and also a rise in density of the material. And they can show you how to check that. They can show you where the set points need to be uh, if your system is so equipped and it will just kind of check that temperature automatically. But if you see a rise of about five, six degrees centigrade, time to check that boil sump. Anytime that you have issues with the vapor degreaser, obviously call your equipment manufacturer They'll be happy to guide you through that, or perhaps if it's if it's uh, fairly serious, they can um, send a technician out your way and help you get back uh, into your production mode. And so, if you have any further questions, please feel free to to join us on the website. There's a technical phone line. There's also a an email that you can send us with technical questions. Mm -hmm.